What's up, Bobby? What's up, baby? Welcome to uh, Bad Decisions World Headquarters. <laughs> I wish it was a little bigger, but. I, I, it, I wish it was a little bigger. <laughs> well, we got Big Booty Judy in here and a Talon. So, ain't too bad. Got the heat pumping. Got the heat pumping. It's nice and warm in here. The bathroom's really warm. The bathroom is warm. <laughs> Dude, yesterday I, I cleaned this thing up power washed it and it was, I don't know, 25 degrees outside. Gross. So all the mist was like freezing everywhere as I was knocking the mud off, it was kind of silly. And then it was like encased in ice and then I brought it in and turned the heat on and it just drip dried. It turned out all right, you know, no I soap. Stopped, I stopped the one from up with a car wash. Did you? Just spray that's, it off. That's not I'm a bad sure idea. that guy woke up going, what in the world? <laughs> all this mud everywhere. But I wanted to get it apart so I could see what I needed to order. Yeah. Sounds a Maverick, you doing, man? Yeah, she's a part. She's a part. Trying to uh, get the A-arm order. So if anybody out there is watching this and you got extra A-arm spare parts for a 2015 Maverick XRS, hit me up. Because <laughs> I need yeah. how the sure I'll break the other side how, eventually. <laughs> how'd the shock turn out? Is it you getting those rebuilt? The bottom of the cylinder was bent. Yeah. I got to melt the FCR in the East Palestine. You're going to get them tuned? Yeah. Anything like that? Rebuild them all. So you got all four of them off, you're just getting them no, all rebuilt? Just, two, just the two fronts? Yeah. Nice. Does so it, does, hopefully come back. I haven't looked, does it have a tender spring on the front or is it just one spring? Just a tender. There's a tender on the top and bottom. Nice. Nothing for all those, the other than the window. Will was pancaked out. Uh-huh. Uh, Will was hitting on it, so chip off the paint. Ugh. I ain't worried about that. Oh man, she was a trooper, man. She pulled her ass yeah, out of there. That, that was awesome. So what we got today, guys? We got we got a pile of parts, some stuff for the Talon P harnesses. Some what color points you get? Black, black. I didn't want to. Xander said I should get pink, but I'm like, no, I'm not getting pink, dude. This I'm kind of excited about. This is a, a CA Technologies uh, shift gate, so you can pop in and transfer from low to reverse real quick, so you don't have to find it and hide a reverse real quick. Um, what we got there, huh? Oh, we got we got lower doors from uh -oh. Super ATV. It's gonna be good stuff here. Hopefully, we don't have to do too much trimming on these, but they look pretty set. I can't tell. You hold that. There you go. You got a bypass for the, uh, the seat belts too. If we were more prepared, we probably would have had a knife ready. <laughs> Well, I think sure. As I touch these, I don't know if they're metal or if they're plastic. It's kind of they're pretty lightweight. Looks like metal. Aluminum. I think it's aluminum. I think it's got that little line in there. There's a little uh, transition. Let's see how these go on. I think these actually have a, a stopper too that goes on the bottom right here. You see it mounts right there, so it pushes back against it. So it doesn't rattle and shake and stuff. Right. So, I'm pumped about that. So, yeah, Bubba. Want to get to it? Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Ooh, look at these guys. These are actually pretty nice. They're pretty plush. Nice and spongy. Ooh, PRP. This ain't too exciting putting harnesses on. Got the quick release buckle. It's just like a, a automotive type. So, here we go. Harnesses, done, installed. Kind of a pain in the butt, but not, not too, too bad. bad. We went in there all right. Just gonna loop them up back through here. Um, had to take the uh, factory retractables out. Um, those were kind of a pain in the butt. Push pins out here, one was here, I think it was a 14 millimeter to pull that out. This side was a little more difficult. 
this whole panel came out. There was about seven push pins and a, a 10 mil right there or something. Um, had some questions on that one when we first started looking at it, but YouTube, uh, what's that guy's name? Jason. Jason. His channel is called Jason. Jason. <laughs> He's got some, if you, if you, if you have a talent, check his channel out. It's got some good, uh, useful information on storage aftermarket stuff. He's done a lot of things to his bike and, uh, I found it very informative. So here we go. Shift Another thing I saw on Jason's channel, he turned me on to this, uh, CA technology shift gate, man. I'm going to throw that in there. So we've heard that the shift knob is pretty tough to get off. So Mr. Zane is going to try and climb up in there and pull it up. You see how bad it hurts. Let's see if I bust my knuckles or anything here. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Not fair. Bad, man. Not fair. All right, guys. Got this CA shift gate just kind of mocked in here right now. It's freaking sweet looking. I really like it, but just wanted to check it. It is in park. Um, that's supposed to be neutral. We're in uh, neutral. Reverse, reverse, low, low. You can't get into high right there in the middle if you wanted to, because that shows high, but same thing over here. That's high, high to reverse, reverse. It's pretty slick, it's a neat design. Just banging for reverse to, to low if you're in a pinch real quick, because I mean, the turning radius on this machine is pretty long. So I mean, a lot of three-point turns and tight trails and stuff. So this is gonna come in super friggin' handy coming in and out of gear. So some people said they need to adjust this to make sure it pops into low like it might be an issue but it seems like ca is machined this good enough that low it goes right into low every time so i'm gonna snug this thing up we're gonna be done with it baby yeah I like it Aha. all right shift cake done it did take a little tweaking i actually had to file some of the uh the uh, the factory tunnel framework under there um, just to get it set left a little bit and pass by here it was it was pinching some so it does take some tweaking it does take a, a a couple of trial and errors and make sure you run it through its course to make sure everything's working before you button everything back up but dude i really like this this feature it's gonna be awesome bj oh yeah want a knife Oh, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> ah, these doors are gonna be sweet. Is there any hardware in that stuff? Right. All right. Probably walk still. Should we read directions or just do this? Let's just do it. All right, man. And super ATV doors on. Piece of cake, man. Wasn't too bad, man. Pretty straightforward. A just couple like holes. That. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Drilled a couple holes. Um, through they're already pre-dimpled um, on these ones. So pretty pretty uh, easy install. Actually I had to drill these out once you set those and put those on. And then there's this little stopper here that keeps the doors from rattling and pushes up against it. Um, all in all, they look pretty good, but the fitment's a little a little funny. You can still see some gaps through there, but they'll still do what uh, what do we need them to do? What do you think? I think it's awesome. Perfectly. Yeah. When it gets down here, it's just a little, I mean, a touch short. This I mean, it's, e it's got an even crack all the way around it, which is nice, but you'd yeah. think it'd be a little bit tighter. But... It's just a little gap there. Yeah. Looks good it keep, all keeps all the mud out. Or maybe they wanted to keep that consistent. Gaps. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it looks good, man. Simple, plain, you know? Right. So, all right, so to recap, job. it does its job. Recapping this, we got PRP harnesses. CA shift gate. We got the uh, the seat belt um, um, jumper wire, so you could go above uh, 15 miles an hour, what have you, with the with the harnesses. And then um, that's pretty much it. Got an EMP windshield on the way uh, with uh, auto glass and a metal frame. It has a wiper on. I don't think we'll. I'm gonna love it. Has a wiper? Has a windshield wiper. Oh, that's awesome. So when you go riding with me, Abigail, you could be in charge of the wiper. <laughs> I'll be in charge of it. <laughs>
And the EMP windshield is on. Say hi, Gwen. <laughs> it's actually, it's pretty nice. What I like about it is the, uh, the steel construction the actually, yeah, it wraps around the roll cage. Uses these uh, rubber coated uh, rings that bolt it on and uh, a rubber uh, strap to hold it on top. Um, seal's pretty good. Looks like it's got these little, uh, that's what they're calling removable vents here. Let the air back in. We'll see how well those work. See if it causes any suction because I don't have a, any back glass yet. But we'll see how that looks, man. What do you think, BJ? Ready like, to... subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right. <laughs> Catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Uh...